sunbathes and that girl just sleeps why don't you guys get up and go to work go make me some money no what about you go make me some money Ooh, that'd be a good picture the joy of having fluffy animals you gotta have one of these babies with you in your car get the armpit you gotta get everywhere because these animals, man, they just want you to look bad and get their hair all over you and mark you as their territory so no other animal can want you. Fluffy animals, man. Some people find them cute. I find them annoying. Look at all this. Look. Look at all this. Jeez. And I had just used this one, too. Fluffy animals, man. Can't live with them. Some people can't live without them. Ugh. So, I left work a little early today because I'm not sure if this is a side effect of the allergy shots or not. Jeez, even my left arm started to hurt now. My arm started hurting today. It's like a weird pain. And my right arm, it was feeling like I was going from the injection site in, uh, behind my arm up to my shoulder. On my left arm now, I'm starting to feel it from the injection site back here. I think it's a little red. Down to like, like my wrist. Like, yeah, like to my wrist. So I left work early so I can get home and take some of my meds because I definitely didn't bring them with me to work because I didn't think I was gonna need them. Turns out I do need them. <laughs> and then I got my little feel good dog therapy dog over here trying to make me feel a little better during my own pain so I'm about to take some medicine real quick and then I don't know but it's something to look out for when you're on these allergy shots is to be aware of what's hurting and what's not hurting and whatever symptoms you're feeling like my arms are really itchy they've been really itchy since I've gotten these shots and one thing that really makes it feel better is actually taking really hot showers for some reason it's kind of like when you get like a tattoo well i guess not really because you're not supposed to take a hot shower when you get a tattoo you're supposed to take a cold one but like when it's i don't know for me when it's when my tattoo got to like the scabbing lifespan of it when it was actually like healing and stuff and you're not supposed to scratch it because if you scratch or like peel off the scabs it's supposed to be really bad or something but a really hot shower really made it feel nice or uh like one of those hand dryer things put it on one of, oh man or slapping it uh slapping it i'm not into that kind of kinky stuff but slapping it felt so nice <laughs> anyways getting ready to take some medicine and then i'm probably going to play some anthem depending on how i'm feeling in a moment take some vintage reel this dude he likes to peer out the window and then hop out on the roof and defend our house from the neighbor birds or whatnot. I'm actually surprised he's stayed in there for so long. Usually he's already out the window by now. So that's the quick update for today. Um, another quick update for the programming jobs I've applied to. I got one response back now. That's another denial. It's a state job this time, which is crazy because it's like I just applied to them not that long ago and now it's already filled. But let's see, hopefully there's no information on here that's critical to my well-being, no. So I got denied, um, if I can scroll, well, you can't really see it, but it was a denial. For some reason it was all zoomed in. So that's another denial. Now for my job numbers, I am at 39 rejected, 50 no responses. So you can see my little pie chart that I have going on here right now too. Majority of it is jobs applied for, 49%. Got a response by 28%. And it's rejected by 22%. So I guess it's not too bad. My rejected uh, percentage is lower than my 
no response. So I guess that's good. And honestly, I kind of wonder if this number is correct for jobs applied for because I applied to a lot of Microsoft jobs, but when I go to the uh, job action section, doesn't actually say or show all the jobs I applied for. It only shows like maybe half of them. So I'm kind of wondering if some of the jobs I applied for were just double posts for the same position. So it only counted as one application. I don't know, but it's a little weird. So maybe I'll do some more research into that at a later time to see if my job numbers are inflated or not. But as it goes right now, as a fresh programming student that's almost done, it's still not easy getting a job, even with how much I know. And I like to think that I know, you know, a fair amount, more than somebody that's just starting off for sure, more than, you know, a typical beginner, I think. Uh, the great thing about my school is that we do a lot of hands-on stuff. So I get a lot of hands-on practice building applications you know, for first hand. <laughs> so I like to think that I know a bit, but it's hard to get that across in an application. You know, these people, when they look at my application, all they really see is somebody that's still in school and also doesn't have their degree yet. So, <laughs> and probably my ethnic name and they're like, no, go with somebody else. So I don't know. Like I said, I, I've heard people before that have ethnic names have a harder time getting jobs. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, another day down, another denial down. My hair is getting pretty long. Yeah. That's going to be the end of today's vlog. I don't think anything else interesting is really going to happen. Going to hang out with my friend Gabe tonight. And then... I don't know not much else today tomorrow I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow and then Sunday is going to be a game day I might try to get a little bit of that on a vlog I don't know yet because it's a really cool board game that we've been playing it's called Arkham Horror it's a really cool co-op cooperative board game that's made by a dude I think made magic I don't know my friend knows all about it I don't really know a whole lot about it's uh it's creation and all that, it's background or it's history, but it's a really fun game for a four player co-op. Really fun, it's really intricate, and the dude that made the game is a mastermind, but he's also a sadist, because man, is the game really hard if you're not careful. It's really hard. You really, it's, teamwork will help you live, but you can also die very quickly like a snap. It takes like nothing. So, there's that, I might show a little bit on Sunday, I don't know yet, anyways, I'm out. I'm going to take my medicine, try to feel better, and probably play some anthem. I don't know yet. Peace.